Hey little buddy, my name is Katemo, welcome back for another video of Total War Troy. We're gonna continue this series, boys, right? Uh, in Total War right now, literally, we are uh, against uh, Troy and uh, his allies. Now, I don't know, I think I'm not at war with Hector. In the last video, when I did uh, my save file, right? Uh, I saved my game after doing the video. I, I saw that I was at war with Hector. That couldn't make sense. I think I am. Because I, de I declared a non-aggression pact with both Paris and Hector, but it seems like they're at war with me anyways. Because Paris just intercepted me right there, so it seems like we're at war with all of Troy, boys. So that's crazy. So it is the big time war, I guess. Uh, let's see real quick. So we, get, we gotta get to do the battle. We have no choice here. It's gonna be a sea battle between us and Paris. Uh, that's gonna be quite interesting. Let's look at the scout terrain, I guess. We're gonna fight on the ter well. We're fighting on the, on the land. I don't know how that's possible. How are we fighting on land when we are both at sea? But uh, that's gonna be quite in uh, interesting. It's Paris himself, boys, that's actually attacking us. So we're about to kill uh, one of the sons uh, uh, by be uh, in the beginning of the video. That's crazy. You know, boys, by eliminating Parry. Uh, you know, boys, by eliminating Parry. Or Paris, whatever you want, uh, however you want to call him, it's gonna allow uh, Achilles to stay alive, because it it is in the the myth, right, in the book and everything, the Odyssey, uh, I think that's what he calls it. Uh, Achilles, the uh, he dies because he gets an arrow into his Achilles, really, literally, yeah, is uh is talent, right? Is a uh, uh, is weakness. The only weakness he had, he gets a fucking arrow into it. Uh, by Paris, but if Paris doesn't uh, get to live uh, to fight against uh, uh, Achilles or actually at least get an arrow on his uh, on him But then we're good Achilles is gonna just survive boys. So we're good on that side I mean if uh, all we did all we got to do is kill Paris pretty quick and uh, we're gonna be just fine I guess all right, let's move them up or actually should we keep them in the forest? Uh, maybe not. Let's just move them up really quick. There we go. And I'm gonna let my archers do their thing uh, from uh, the back. Not too close from the battle because you know they like to uh, to get us. Uh, they, they like to go against us and stuff like that. So we'll keep it easy. And on this side we're gonna have our little cavalries right here. Which are gonna be doing the charging big time boys. They're the ones doing uh, charging. So we got Your cavalries. We're gonna do Napoleonic style with the uh, with the cavalry uh, type of combat, basically. Let's see what we got, really. I'm just gonna keep it easy right now. I don't see any general. Uh, I don't see where Paris is. He hasn't shown up yet, so we're just gonna keep it easy. Start bombarding these guys, which we are, and we're actually dealing quite a good amount of damage to them right now, with uh, on one of their units already. You guys are good, boys. All right, time to uh, use this. And I'm going to use my general to attack these guys. There we go. We're doing a fantastic job. And these guys as well are attacking. Now, uh, you guys, go ahead and uh, march on a little bit qu uh, closer. Just so you can uh, start uh, doing some range as well uh, uh, for you. Oh, there we go. Man, we're doing a lot of damage. We're doing a lot of damage right now, boys. That that's fantastic. Look at that. Assault and battery. Let's go. Good, 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 good. Uh, they're always trying to go from the back right here. Look at that. Now stop being a squirmisher all the time. Uh, one thing you're gonna do is oh hold on. I've got my cavalry right here. I think they saw my cavalry. They're going after it straight after it. So I'm just gonna send my cavalry. And uh, for you guys, yes, uh, continue to start bombarding, I guess. Continue to bombard. What What is he doing? Okay, hold on, hold on. Go back, go back. Every time is the same thing. It's the same thing every time. These goddamn soldiers, they start going after me. He's there. There he is, boys. Salt and battery. Vanquish him. Let's go kill him off. Kill him off, boys. He's dead. We got him. He's fucking dead, boys. We killed Paris. There he is. That's right. That's him right there. He's fucking dead, boys. We killed him. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, boys. That's the battle basically won with that death. 
So one of the sons is dead. Fantastic. All we need to do is take care of Hector. And of the father. And Troy is just basically going to fall by itself. He's about to die. Boom. Straight in the throat. From Tross's hand. Not Achilles. Which uh, that's something. A good job for Tross boys. He did a great job. He just killed one of the big sons right there. One of the two sons. And now that he's dead. We can solely focus on Hector and uh, get it done with, really. That's really fantastic for us. Actually, I don't think we're at war with Hector, no? I think we're not at war with Hector. I believe that's him, right? I I'm not sure, boys, but uh, they want to do a barter over here. I don't have time for barters. Uh, let's just wait it out on that. Non-aggression packs? Yeah, sure. Uh, the less wars I have to do, the better. Restrict trades from distant shores. A strange people hailing from a distant land have opened a trading outpost near your uh, settlements. I'm just gonna allow the trades. Why not? Allow the trades, and they're gonna be happy about me, I guess. We got some ratings, a bunch of stuff going on. Look at all this, boys. All right. Uh, we got a new royal decree. Obviously, let's just focus on this one, I guess. Uh, over here. We got a settlement that we can upgrade. A bunch of settlements we can actually upgrade right here. Which is fantastic for us. It's just going to only... It really is going to only help us in the long term, really. And uh, what is uh, the next thing? We got... Uh, we can upgrade that. And can I get... There we go. I can finally get that. Uh, some yellow stuff. And uh, yes, the next thing. I don't... I don't think we have too much going on. We could... No, I can't go for the yellow... Uh, stuff. I already have some green, so I'm just gonna go for this, I guess. Or actually, I don't have the swordsman or whatever, so I'm just gonna focus on that after all. Uh, divination, do we have anything else? Uh, we got nothing that we can't really do. Prayers are not really worth anything. Uh, Achilles, alright, so first things first. First guy on the list is Achilles. For now, I think I'm gonna keep him in the mainland, or do I wanna send him? I might be tempted to just... I, I'm going to send him over the uh, over the seas to help out. Because if we're at war with um, with Hector as well, right? Which I believe we are. This might be a problem, boys. Hold on. Are we at war with... Uh, so, advance. Hector, Troy, Paris. We're at war with pretty much everyone. Pretty much everyone's at war with us. Alright, so it is the big time war. So, I'm tempted to uh, tell them... I'm not going to ask them to join the war. That wouldn't, they wouldn't be any help. Uh, Missinea will... Uh, I do want them to join. They're already in the war against Troy. Okay, that's good, I guess. So since you're at war, right? Missinea. Uh, I guess you can focus on this. Uh, start focusing on this one. And uh, Sparta... You Where were you focusing? You were focusing on Troy itself, right? Yeah, I think you can probably focus yourself. Since your wife is there, why don't you just focus on this one right here? And Salamis, I don't think they're going to be much help. So we're just not going to ask for uh, any of their help, really. Uh, Alright, so let's move up our generals right here. Uh, you are staying put here. You are going to continue to move on. Uh, we're getting closer to the location. So, yeah, continue to move on. You're right there. There's one of the, the places we need to attack, actually. There we go. So that's uh, really good for us. And uh, now that I think about it, we can probably, yeah, attack this guy straight away. He's the settlement, so let's attack him. Yes, we can. All right, we're gonna attack this place. We're going to take out this settlement. Even though it's fortification, they, can't, they don't have anything that's defending it. And I've got two forces, so stake it really quick and uh, get as much stuff for us as possible. We're gonna just, uh, I guess I'm gonna occupy it. I can always uh, get it, give it back to somebody else eventually, but I think it's, yeah, it's a good place to put a territory on or whatever. It's a good place for me to settle. So let's get, let's do that. We do have this guy over here, uh, which we're not gonna march him on. We're actually gonna attack this army, this random army that was right there. And prevent them from attacking us from behind by attacking them first, boys. There we go. We'll finish them off. That's really good for us. Did we get an upgrade for that? Or Yes, we did. We did get an upgrade. But first off, we're going to take out the, the other city from the island. 
as well. Decisive victory, boys. Taking everything. This little uh, island right there is going to belong to us entirely. We're doing our thing. Let's just hope that Spar the Spartans and Mycenaeans are going to be able to uh, get there eventually in, the ma uh, in their mainland. Because uh, right now I'm preoccupied a lot with the, the smaller regions that they've got are going on. We did capture the entire region right here, which is good. Which you already know what that means. Another region for us means basically another army we can build, boys. I don't know if I can... Uh, I have to... I don't know if it's necessary for me to build it per se. I really do need to finish this war against the Abans right now. This is getting a bit ridiculous. Let's see if we can't finish him off. Cadman victory. All right. I think we're going to have to do this battle ourselves. So we're going to wait it out a little bit. Uh, this is getting really ridiculous over there. The Abans... The war is going to be uh, a thing forever, I feel like. You are going to stay in Athens, protect it. Tedious, you're going to stay here. Uh, over here, you've got this guy taking care of the of, of things. So I think everything's pretty much done here. Yeah, we got everything. Uh, we're dealing with everything perfectly, it looks like. So we got a bunch of stuff. I'm already telling the Missionians to take care of that big bad boy. The uh, Spartans are going to take care of of this while I'm moving up on the north. I'm going to take out uh, the north first. I'm going to go from Troy and then I'm going to move south, boys. All right, so I'm, I need to take out Troy first. I already took out this little settlement. Let's see really quick. Uh, let's take up on, on, on all of our guys. All right, so it looks like they're ready to attack us, boys. It's a Kamen victory. Uh, while we were simulating, I actually bought uh, this, uh, a city or I bought a settlement that uh, the Simenoans or whatever, uh, the Salamis, I think, that's what their name uh, their name is. The Salamis wanted to trade territories. Uh, they wanted to have add-ins in exchange for one of the territories. But what I did is I counter-offered. I gave them uh, 10,000 gold in exchange for the territory they were uh, willing to give me and they accepted right away. So we got a free territory out of that. That's one thing I need to um, look at as well is buying territories for like for money. I've got plenty of money. I can just buy the territories. I forgot about that as well. I can look into that. But let's go do the battle right here. Uh, deal with these enemies really quick. Uh, so we can uh, focus on Troy. And hopefully this is the last of the events that we're going to see. Hopefully, boys. Now, I know you, some of you guys are probably wondering uh, if the Trojan horse is actually a thing in this game. Uh, and it is. It is a thing in this game. Uh, the Trojan horse, you can actually build it. But you need to be in the other side, right? The enemy's side uh, that I'm uh, facing right now. You need to be with uh, uh, the Troy and everything in order to get it, obviously. So the Trojan horse, you can build it, but not with the Spartan side or Achilles' side, basically. You need to be on your own little side, I guess. It is a possibility to build it, though, and it is pretty OP. I am not gonna lie, boys, it is an OP thing, uh, for sure, the Trojan horse. So uh, let's just start the battle right here. We're gonna move him up uh, really quick, and we're gonna move up my uh, my melee dudes now. I know they're gonna probably try to outflank me, so I'm gonna make it as large as possible my melee units and my range units. I guess I'm gonna make it a little bit more uh, small, boys. In comparison, let's put them in all the uh, in all their splendor right here. Yes, so my range units right there. There we go, just like that. And uh, my melee units uh, start start moving big time. You're going to be very large. You're going to go there. And same thing for you guys. You're going to start moving a little bit. There we go. Just like that. They're going to be a little bit more small. So it's just that they can, so that they can cover up uh, my range units. Because I we all know that uh, they like to attack uh, range units uh, mostly a, a lot, boys. So... It doesn't look like they're willing to really attack me right now that much. We have to be on the offensive, it looks like, quite a lot, boys. So, let's just get there, I guess. We're going to be on the offensive if, if that's the, what they want me to do. Yeah, they're, uh, it looks like they're just camping out here. What the hell are they doing, boys? They're out there camping? Having a time of their life, I guess. Let's, uh, let's go there. There we go. Let's go there, boys. Move up. 
And we're gonna move up, I guess, right there, like that. Ah, there we go. There they are. But they're gonna start moving now. Good, good, good. Now they're starting to move. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let's press... I think we've got the cover up basically a lot. Yes, we got the good uh, the good cover up. So what we're gonna we want to do is move up like this, prevent them from getting us from behind. There we go. We're covering up, boys. Good, good, good. We're covering up our uh, range units, and I'm gonna send him after that general real quick. Send him and do the god's uh, gift or whatever. Send him. Uh, send my general after them. Go, 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 go. Attack them. You guys are good. Push them back. And, uh, yeah, these guys, I don't want, uh, shit. Yeah, fire a wheel. Not skirmish mode. Not skirmish mode. Just stay put. Stay put and let your armies do the job. You're gonna be fine. Just let your armies do the job, really. Uh, one of their generals, it looks like both of their generals are dead. Let's just deal with the rest of their armies, I guess. Uh, right here. There we go. Just like that. And they're, uh, just like that, they're fleeing away, boys. Without generals, usually the... This, this principle of this game, right? The idea, general idea of this game is to basically kill the general, enemy general, and afterwards the enemies fall, falter. Uh, they, f they start fleeing right away. Uh, without generals, it seems like the enemy um, or the forces, they don't have any morale whatsoever. Their morale just depletes right away. It's I'm not using mods to do that as well. It's just literally their morale is just... By default really bad that's just how it is i guess boys oh we pretty much defeated them all uh let's hope that that was enough for us to beat the advance once and for all and we i know we're gonna take the settlement right here but let's just hope that uh we can finally end them once and for all all right done a uh, job is done boys right here uh we did our thing we uh we defeated them pretty nicely uh, now uh, we just need to replenish our armies though because some of our armies uh, is are basically a lot uh, destroyed a lot so they need help right now non aggression pack cancel that's not too good don't attack me please hopefully you don't uh, non aggression pack with you guys with uh, with uh, of course I'm gonna accept this all right into the next turn I think I, I'm getting ready boys greatness question hold on hold on we got something we got a bunch of pop-ups refaction destroy the Arcadians uh, we got a bunch of stuff that just happened. So hold on. What is all this? So, uh, mood swing. Achilles boils, uh, boil, uh, blood boils. Okay. And what of the commandment? Uh, we're good. I saw something, but, uh, I guess, I guess not. Maybe I, j I just dreamt it. Maybe. Not entirely sure, boys, but, uh, oh well. Let's uh, go there. We are on march mode. It's just to get quicker to the locations. This is an enemy, enemy settlement. All right, since we know about that, I guess we can move out, boys. We can start moving out right here with our armies. Uh, it's going to take uh, another turn to get to their uh, uh, general uh, areas. It looks like these guys got overturned. Interesting. They were at war with the Dardanians. And since Parius is dead, I guess the Dardanians took over this territory. That's quite interesting, boys. So Paris just fell completely, I guess. And over here, you're just going to go here. And I think you can attack this territory right here. I believe you can. Oh, he can't. He's not quite there yet. Well, the next turn he's going to be able to do it. Yeah, I think the Dardanians, basically what happened is the Dardanians took over every single one of the territories that Paris had. Because he's dead. Uh, I think that's just how it works. Uh, we're going to take a look really quick though. Uh, Royal Decrees, take that. All the little settlements that we need to upgrade, we're going to focus on that first. Uh, before uh, focusing on the war aspects of the game. Uh, let's uh, yeah get everything done right here. We can get a yellow thing, which is really good. And get uh, we can't get one right here, so... That's a shame, whatever. Uh, can we get a tower? I guess we can. Let's uh, get a tower and... Magnesia, we're gonna get uh, that. And we definitely need archers, so we're gonna get that. Upgrade the farms, uh, upgrade everything. And over here, we pretty much have everything that we can, right? 
Uh, I'm probably yeah gonna start focusing on that as well. Uh, Al Siman, Al Simedan, which is probably my second best general overall, I believe. Uh, no, actually, he's not. He's not my second best general, but he what is one of my first generals. Let's see in the tier list, boys. Al Samos. Uh, he's not one of my first generals. That's interesting. Or oh, whatever. Let's go, buddy. Uh, you're starting to. You're actually gonna march, or are you gonna no? Get back into the city, actually, because I do need your army to heal up. We're going to heal up his armies really quick. Uh, he needs to do that. The rest of you, you got to stay put. Stay put for you as well. Same thing for you. Al Semedan, the, uh, the guy himself, in charge of taking care of the events. Let's do it. Decisive victory. Take care of this little region right here. Kill the events off. Hopefully, that's the last of them. Hopefully, boys. I really do uh, hope it is the case right there. Decisive victory. Enemy killed. Faction destroyed. Yes. We did it, boys. Faction is destroyed. And now we got this region as well. We got. Uh, we can build two new armies, basically. So keep count, boys. Two new armies. If we ever need to build armies, or if we uh, ever need to have more armies for the war effort, we can build two more. So uh, let's just keep that in mind. That tedious, Alciman did his thing. Everybody are, uh, moved up already, so everybody's good right here. Uh, divination, I think we're good. Uh, we can probably make a prayer, I guess, to Aphrodite. So make a prayer really quick. And that's about it. Uh, we're doing really good. We gotta remember, right? She's still there. This is where Ellen resides. She li resides in Lara Troas. We gotta take care of that. Uh, now, now, this is done. And I'm sending the Spartans there. I don't know what the Spartans and the Missinoians are doing. They're on their way, but they're pretty slow. I'm guessing they're not marching. And that's why it's taking them more time to do that. I imagine that's why. But uh, look, it's taking forever for them to do stuff. Now, we did get that right here, that region oh, over here. Now, the Salamis, maybe I can ask them to give me more territories. Like these two right here, these two territories that he just got right there, I can probably give them, continue to give them money. And they're probably going to accept. Oh, I probably need to give them a little bit more. So if I give them, uh, say that, plus I give them a couple more uh, coins, like maybe, I don't know. There we go, 1,000 coins per, uh, per turn. And they're willing, no. there we go, they, gi they gave me that. And now if I ask them to give me that, they're probably the same thing, boys. Same thing right there. Okay, so just give them 10 Calgon gold. And for 10 turns, give them another amount of gold. It, I know it's cheesy, boys, but it works. It works, and we get uh, free territories from that, basically. So all of this, and we've got another province, so another three, re three uh, armies that we can build now. Three more armies, boys. Uh, I don't think I need to, though. I think I've got plenty of armies as it is, but look at all this. I mean, now we're we're officially secured, boys. Officially secured. Let's take a look everywhere else, really. Because this is us. If we take a look, that's our faction right there. We're the biggest faction in the world, probably. The biggest empire. Way bigger than the, the Spartans uh, must be shitting in their... Uh, in their uh, little uh, cojones right now, I, I guess. Confederation's almost there for these guys. We can almost confederate them, which when that's going to be the case, ooh, that's going to be, we're going to be strong, even stronger, boys. Uh, let's uh, let's just see really quick around these guys. Uh, would they be willing to just give me some territories? Not, not, not at all. They might be tempted to declare war at me as well. Uh, it is improving, though. Hopefully, they don't declare war to me. I really don't. That's the last thing I need. Let's, let's try and con convince them to not do that. It would be great if you uh, wouldn't do that, right? All right, it's not happening. Uh, they don't want it, boys. I've tried about uh, everything, but it's not going to happen. Uh, oh, well. Uh, it's fine, I guess. What I can do is just give them a couple of coins. And make it uh, so that they really... Uh, yeah, it ups a little bit more, the improvements. And stuff like that it gets better and same thing for you uh i just need the improvement to I get uh, a little bit better i am actually i'm going to be able to get a non-aggression pack with these guys i can feel it yeah i can feel it so 
just give them a non-aggression pack with these guys at the same time of having some improvement done and the rest rest is fine really we don't need to worry about anything so continue to skip the turns here the Dardanians are trying to attack me uh, ain't gonna happen it's a decisive victory for me don't need to do the battle let's just out the results and uh, we already know where we're gonna win uh, low casualties and everything so we're good right here let's just kill these guys they just wasted a bunch of their armies we did lose some of our armies though i saw that boy zero for some of our armies so we lose a couple uh, lost a couple of units right here wow all right so we just battled them out that was literally the same battle right here so that's the the guys we're probably in marching mode we're probably yeah we're going full speed we're marching right now towards the army the territory so the Dardanians tried to attack us. We killed them off. They managed to kill one of our units. Uh, but now they're counter-attacking again. A second battle. And now it's actually Troy themselves who are attacking us, boys. And now we do have to do the battle. We don't have a choice. Let's do the battles. We gotta defend ourselves. Now, I just saw that uh, most of the armies that they have on their side, they're all rank 3, basically. So they're all really big-time veterans. I don't know who they fought. In order to for that to be a thing, boys, but they uh, they are ve big time veterans. This looks uh, this looks like a hill. Should probably take that. We're aside from the sea. That's really cool. This game looks beautiful at some points, boys. But all right, here we go. Uh, let's just get them in position, I guess. Get uh, in a better position than that. It looks like we're in triangular right here, and the general is gonna be up front like always. Up front, buddy. There we go. Let's do it. The battle for Troy, boys. Well, not exactly the battle for Troy, but uh, it's close. We're really close to the territories itself. We can ha have the feel of it, I guess. And now we know you guys, we know what to do. You guys are going to stay put. Uh, they're going to come towards us anyways, it looks like. So just get in position. And same thing for you. Okay, so archers, what you're going to end up doing right here. You're going to get in smaller formations, just like I did last time. And we're going to get ready for them to invade us. We're going to get ready. So they do have some cavalry right here. B uh, guys, be prepared to attack. All right. Be prepared right here. They do have some cavalry. Get in smaller formations. Ah, uh, there we go. And now we the can attack. Start bombarding them, boys. And actually, no skirmish. Don't be in skirmish mode. There we go. Do not be in skirmish mode. Uh, we're going to take care of these chariots really quick. You guys are not going to break formations. You're going to stay put. All right. And let them join in. And I'm going to send my general straight up for them. Uh, there we go. Just like that. Straight up against them. Nice. And we got... Uh, I'm going to activate this. And yeah. We're going to just keep a big ass wall against them, boys. Just to keep the big wall going. I see the general. I'm going to go after him. As quick as possible. I uh, can throw. Uh, I'm gonna throw stuff at him, I guess. There we go. Boom. We're doing a good job, boys. Our general is doing fantastic right now. Look at how much damage he just dealt. My general is... Holy shit, boys. You mediate the dead right here. You mediate the dead. There we go. Do all everything. Everything you can. Oh my... Look at that. Look how much damage that's gonna do. I don't know what that does exactly, but uh, it looks fantastic. I mean, look at all, look at this battle. We're doing a good job. We're uh, protecting ourselves right here. Yeah, this is a, a, a great battle right there. We're definitely defeating them. They're retreating in mass right now. Look at the damage we're doing. Red versus purple, boys. I love it. Let's see, our general is doing a fantastic job right now against these guys, which are basically elite, elite men. All of their armies were elite men. Oh, they're going from behind like I expected them to do. But they're fleeing just in time. They fled. Good. So that was probably their best army that Troy had right there. They sent it after me, boys. Kill that army off. Boom. We're coming for you, Troy. We're coming for you big time. We're getting closer. There's nothing you can do to stop us. You want to get another third army going after this one? You can try, but you're going to die. We got a lot of things going on right here. Look at this. Some big armies battling in the seas really quick. 
Oh, battle calls. Hold on. Your ally is being attacked. So, defender. Uh, Car Corinthians attacked the Spar Spartans. My god. All right. Well, looks like Corinthians uh, went on the back, on their back, and decided to attack the uh, Spartans. Well, I do need to uh, help out, help them out. And I feel like Iona is probably going to join in as well. And that's our uh, on our mainland right there. They decided while we were at war over there, a big war. That's why I kept armies behind, anyways. So I'm gonna I'm gonna help out Sparta. I I gotta do it, boys. I gotta help them out. On the edge. So let's see. Achilles is now feeling indignant from per, from perceived slight to his name. He's attempting to soothe his move. Allow Achilles to indulge. I'm gonna allow him to uh, indulge his uh, his things. Lack of recognition. Is feeling indignant. There we go. We're, we're good. Chill. Uh, chill out, uh, Achilles. We're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine, buddy. All right. So I'm just gonna. Uh, so we're at war with these guys right here. Uh, the other guys decided to not join in. They did not join, so that's good. Uh, we're at war with these guys, though, so we are going to send these guys right here. They're going to have to deal with that bullshit that's happening right now. We're going to encircle them, the all right, and try to... Because I don't want to have to focus on these guys right now. Uh, Messinoa, you're at war with them, and Sparta as well. But uh, don't don't worry too much. It's easy, like they only have to one army, so I'm going to take care of that army. And so you guys don't have to worry about them because I need you to focus on the West. And uh, same thing. So all my armies that I had right here, that's their job right now is to take care of these uh, assholes that decide to attack my allies from the back. Unless or your armies are not even healed up right now. I don't know what you're doing exactly, but uh, you're not really doing too much, Achilles. You're not going to have a big deal uh, to do, really, on the West on the east so i guess he's gonna have to stay on the uh, western front boys and help us out on that but and i guess protect our allies because he's not going to be doing too much on the eastern front against uh, troy right here so i went ahead boys and uh, built up all the little things i needed to build right here uh this is i'm gonna need to rebuild that army really quick uh i'm kind of scared uh this guy i feel like he can attack this and take it out Decisive victory. We are gonna get quite a bit of casualties done to us though So I want to I want to wait it out even though it says the size of victory I'm gonna it it does tell us that we're gonna have quite a bit of of Damage dealt to us. So let's get there With that army there we go and started sieging them so That's Troy themselves boys That is Troy himself. So we're sieging Troy right now. We need another army for this guy But I feel like he, as soon as we take out uh, these guys, we should be fine. Let's just send him, uh, send him right here. Ambush! Oh my god. Uh, fuck it. A valiant defeat. I don't want to do a battle right now. I don't have time for battle. Let's just get rid of that army. All right. I was gonna get destroyed eventually. It was gonna bound. It was bound to happen. Let's get rid rid of that army that I had. There we go. Wounded doesn't matter. I just lost an army right here. That's okay. This guy's gonna deal with it all, I guess. Uh, where's my other army right here? Okay, let me see real quick. So we got that. This guy is there. Uh, this guy's there. Tudius, you're staying put. Uh, Alcimon. Actually, now that I think about it, Tudius, you're not staying put anymore because we're going to need you on the west. Let's we'll start. You're going to be the, uh, that army, uh, army replacement. Looks like Iteka is at war, boys, uh, with Hector. So we might as well ask him to... Uh, to deal with that nonsense over there. We might as well tell him to do that. Or is he at war with the Corinthians? He's at war with the Corinthians. Alright, so never mind then. If he's at war with them, uh, that's them right there, right? So we might ha as well uh, ask them to help us out over here in the west. That's probably what we're gonna try to do, boys. So that's all done. We got actually the Amazons, Ipilotas Amazons. We uncovered them. You may be uh, yes, I'm gonna try to be a little bit more friendly to you, buddy. There we go. Just try to be friendly with these girls. And uh, see where this is gonna lead us. But anyways, boys. As you can see, we advanced quite a lot in this video. We did, we did a lot. Uh, we managed to take out these little, uh, this en entire island right here. Uh, along with this one. We took out the Abans, finally. Now we're moving out. Uh, out. Even though we lost an army. 
uh, while doing that. Uh, really right here, it's it's a shame though because uh, the, the the that army that we lost managed to uh, come back, right? Managed to defeat the Dardanian army and probably the biggest army that Troy had in the seas uh, back to back. But then it went into the shore and got ambushed and got murdered by this uh, uh, by I guess the Elons. So. That's a shame, but that's bound to happen. Uh, we also killed Paris, right? Paris is no more, boys. It is only Hector and Troy itself. I'm get, my guess is if we kill Hector, Troy is fucked. But we're going to be destroying Troy before Hector itself. Whatever, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.